Hi guys, I'm just slipping in before we get on with the video just to say I got so excited with with um, the giveaway that I forgot to say in order to enter the giveaway you need to like, subscribe and comment that you, you want to be entered into the giveaway. Um, I just forgot to add that too. We just got carried away. I got carried away. So we'll get we'll get on with the video now. Hi guys, it's lovely to see you. Welcome to Polly Put the Petal On. My name is Claire. My name is Claire. <laughs> um, today's video is is a craft haul. Craft, yeah, mainly craft haul and a giveaway. A giveaway of um to celebrate my hundredth uh, video. This is hundred hundred and second now. Um, <clears throat> so let's get into the haul and uh, there's a few other bits and pieces. Um, you know, I've got um. A little bit of skincare and, and I mean it's only a little bit and I've got something to <laughs> to run by you guys um so yeah I've got a frog in my throat as well I've got a bit of a sore throat which is sod's law because I'm off uh to the races this weekend and so I'm trying to <clears throat> quell it before it transpires into anything else if transpires is the word um so yeah, let's get on. Right, I'll, sh I'll show you these little bits of skincare. It's just my usual hyaluronic acid and I've got the buffet upstairs um, by The Ordinary. Love this stuff, as you know. Um, but I just wanted to, I wanted to say to you that I, that is the first that I bought since the last haul of hyaluronic acid. Um, and I think it's about eight months. <clears throat> uh seven or eight seven or eight months and that's how long that it's lasted me so i just wanted to bring that i've also picked up because when i was looking for um the ordinary um vitamin c because i've been using aldi vitamin c and it's absolutely lovely i'm really enjoying it uh, of course it's on a special so you can't get it all the time so I thought, well, I'll see if, if The Ordinary, well, what The Ordinary had, I I wanted a serum and that was a uh, in a moisturiser and I didn't want it in a moisturiser. So <clears throat> I was on Beauty Bay and I typed in, you know, vitamin C uh, because that's where I bought my hyaluronic acid and the buffet from. And this came up, Revolution 12.5 uh, vitamin C. And I thought, oh, right, well, I'll give it a go because it's a serum and that's what I was after. So, yeah, I've used it once, but to be honest, I'm still using um, and I quite like it, quite like it. Uh, goes on nice and silky. Do you see? believe it's really good for the skin well i've i've been thought like i say thoroughly enjoying um aldi's version and that smells gorgeous as well i've got it on today i love it this doesn't really smell of anything um, but that's how it comes in a little pump and you've just seen how how far that little bit went you know and it just feels really really nice guys um, I can't remember how much that was, you know. I think it might have been about six pounds. I'll I'll link it in the description below. <clears throat> so I just thought I'd show you those. So that's that. Uh, the second thing, actually, no, I'm going to show you this. This is a little fascinate that I've got for tomorrow. So I'll show you that towards the end. I'll just get on with the craft haul, shall I? So okay, I've picked up this garland. Now I I have these quite often. I like them. They're only cheap. You know, it, if you type in lamb's ear garland, this is what comes up, or it's coming up as a lamb's ear garland. It's not lamb's ear. To me, that looks like eucalyptus, but I love the um, the colour of it. It's like the silver green, isn't it? Uh, which is similar to the colour of eucalyptus. So I've picked this up because, if you remember in my last video, I was saying to you um, about spraying... Uh, some pumpkins white so I'm gonna have this and I'm gonna have I'm gonna fill it with um, not fill it but I'm gonna have some nice white pumpkins in it um, and a few other bits and pieces 
garland um, and uh, yeah it's gonna look nice so <clears throat> that was that now that's off eBay and I will link that if I can find the link which I should be able to I will link that I think it was about nine pounds um, so that was that I, I've had these from Dunelm uh, possibly a couple of weeks now guys um, so I picked up these beautiful orange poppies and they are beautiful, look. I love them. And they were, believe it or not, only 125 a stem. And you have got one, two, three, four, five, five uh, poppies and a, um, and a bud. Yeah, because it's not a poppy. It's not a poppy seed head. It's, it is a bud. So, yeah, so I've got those two. And aren't they gorgeous? Nice, vibrant colours. Uh, beautiful. Um, and I picked up this. It's like a golden mustard uh, yellow. Uh, it's eucalyptus spray and it's 225. And you've got one, two, three, four. Five, six, eight. You've got eight of these on. So that's quite good. So I picked up two of those. And then I picked up one of these. Now this was the more pricier of them all. And, and that was 350. But I love the colours on that. Beautiful. It's got red. It's got it's got uh like brown. Um, it's got an almost mustard colour. But it's really, really nice, and it's got burgundy. Really, really nice. Um, and that, like I say, that was three fifty. So beautiful um, bunch there, guys. I'll bring those up further. Beautiful colours, don't you think? So yeah, they were done out the other week. <coughs> you have to excuse me because I have got a little, a little sore throat. And actually, that bead, that beaded. Um, that I picked up from the range last week. That goes with those. I've just placed it near them. Then I'm uh, shooting across to Hobbycraft. Now I picked up, uh, this is how they come. These, believe it or not, are wreaths. Um, and I'm sure I, I'm sure I ordered, I'm sure they're 18 inch. I could be wrong. Let's see what it says on the label. It doesn't say. And I wish I'd have got my glasses to the table, guys. But as per usual, I haven't. Um, so this is how they come. Quite flat. I wasn't expecting that. So you're going to have to, um, you know, shape them out. And then you're going to have to fluff them up in order to get your, your desired wreath. Five pounds each they were, guys. And I've, I've picked a few up. Uh, for the upcoming season. And I'll tell you for why. Because my wholesaler just is not getting them in at all um and i've been trying for the past god knows how many months and they're just not they're just not in and you could say oh well it's because it's not christmas yet but no they would they would have them in all the time and i know that there's a problem with supplies anyway um so uh, uh it's either brexit or covid i have no clue so yeah, I picked a few of those up, five pounds. Um, I'll I'll leave this till later because that's a project that's going to be coming up. So I've I've been rooting and tooting around for little bits and pieces of dried stuff. Now my order isn't big enough to go to wholesale, um, and so I mean it could be, but I want to justify. I want to justify the delivery and all that sort of stuff, you know. So I've just been picking a few bits up here and there. So I've picked up some oats. Uh, and these weren't very expensive. I can't remember how much how much they were. But they're gorgeous then. Gorgeous natural uh, dried oats. Um, they're not very expensive at all. Um... Now, what I'm going to try and do is go into my emails and find where, because I really don't know where I've got them from. 
I find things online, spur of the moment, I think, oh yeah, get it. And these, I don't even think there's a note in here, but we'll have a look when we get to the bottom. So I picked up those oats from the same place. I picked up this millet. This millet, and I absolutely love that. I love the texture, I love the soft. Can you see? It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? And I love the fact that it's got its own natural way, you know, its own natural, uh, you know, I mean, like this that's bending over and this one, you know, it's got its own and it's got movement. Can you see what I'm saying? And you don't get that with, with, um, with artificial, you know, with, uh, yeah, silk flowers, artificial flowers. Um, we won't get movement with these. Whoops. I'm <laughs> flicking the stuff all over me. I have picked up this. Now, it's all natural stuff. But, of course, this, I mean, it's natural, but it's not natural. That's not grown like that. So we've got a, a multitude of all sorts. We've got a bit of Ting Ting. We've got these. I can't remember what they're called. They're all called different things, but I've, I've, I've got this anyway. And I've got these twirly whirlies, which is ting ting. I picked up two of those. Oh, and I've got some of these. They're nice. Love those. Really like them. What I'm going to do, I'm not going to do anything with them until I've built myself a little collection up. So, um, you know, and these things take time. I've picked up... Now, let me see what this is. Uh, I think this is uh, Nigella, Love in a Mist, because I have this in my garden and it reminds me of a wonderful lady who had it in her garden. She taught me that it self-sets and it does indeed self-set. take guys so yeah I think this is Nigella loving a mist just lovely but I just love anything that's natural and stuff so that's got like a nice little pink tinge to it that right so I've got that um, there's another one of those. Whoops, I've got, I've got, I'm getting stuff all over me, guys. Pardon me. There's another one of those. Uh, I think they were cheap, and that's why I bought two bunches. Picked up some helichrysum, helichrysum, helichrysum. Some orange, orangey red. Love those. They did have other colours, but they didn't in stock, if you know what I mean. It was on the website, but they didn't have it in stock. And that's what I'm finding whilst I'm trying to source. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff that's out of stock. Um, and I know crafting has taken off and stuff, you know. But I don't think that that, that would would be the reason for not being able to ob obtain and, and get the things that you need. So anyway, this is... Uh, Helichrysum, Helichrysum, and uh, I just love, oh, I've just dropped one, <laughs> and I just love those vibrant colours there, guys, nice, aren't they? Um, they're very, very brittle dried flowers are, and so, you know, you've got to treat them with care, and then, last but not least, in the drive department, I picked up and this smells absolutely divine lavender absolutely beautiful so let me show you so i bought two bunches of this lavender and you have to be careful because it will it will fall apart like i say can you see that just gorgeous i absolutely love it and it smells so nice. Um, and so, yeah, I've got two bunches of that. So um, just give me a tick while I put all this away. 
<clears throat> back in this box and then I'll show you the next few bits. It's all over the joint now. <laughs> I have just brushed up. Um, yeah, so going back to hobby craft. Now I picked these up uh, in the spring. I picked up three. They were six pounds. Um, I picked them up because I really liked them. However, when I got them, they were a little bit darker than I thought. Um, but you know, anything for a candle or a little plant or anything like that, even from the top. These are ideal if you are but taller ones, not not these, because if I was to put something, I think these are about, I wished I got my craft mat at the table. Do you want She's high, guys. Um, but if you had a, a larger one, you know, a taller one, um, they're all right on a table. You know, if you're doing a centerpiece and you put your centerpiece on the top there, maybe a little candle there, because you can still see through it. It's not obstructing the, the person across the table. Um, you know, for a wedding venue or anything like that. In fact, you know, there is many a um, beautiful arrangement made on that that kind of style for wedding tables. So, yeah, so I picked up three of those. Um, and like I say, they've been in a box uh, since, since spring. Um, because when I got them, they weren't exactly what I thought they were. And then they've just stayed there. But I'm I'm willing to take them out and give them a fresh look again now. Um, I'm willing to give them a chance. Um, so yeah, um, six pounds each, uh, hobby craft. And then we're going to move on to uh, what one of the things that I've got coming up, um, which is my autumn door wreath i've got oh, do you know what i've got dried flowers down my top <laughs> um it was prickly in my stomach <sighs> just let me have a drink <laughs> oh. right so i'm gonna have i said to you was it the last video uh, where I don't want anything too fussy. I want something nice and simple. I've designed it myself in my head. And um, <clears throat> this is how it goes. So I I love um, deco mesheries. I haven't made one, however, for quite some time. And I certainly haven't made myself one for quite some time, guys. And I'm overdue one on my door because I've always got flowers on the door. <clears throat> I've got lemons on the door at the moment because if you remember, I did a lemon wreath that was in my playlist. Um, and I did a strawberry wreath and I was going to put the strawberry wreath on the front door and the lemon wreath on the back door. Well, I swapped them over because the lemon wreath um, for the front door was slightly bigger um, on the door. So I swapped them over. So, you know, I've either got lemons or Christmas or, you know, but I really love a deco mesh and I haven't had one on there for quite some time. So I thought, right, well, I fancy doing one. So I went to <clears throat> Deco Mesh Decorations. Um, I don't always buy my Deco Mesh from, from this lady. However, she is fantastic. Uh, there she is there, Deco Mesh Decorations. And she stocks some beautiful, um, oh, it's a, a tiny, tiny dove. And I thought it was um, a jay bird. Um, she stocks some really nice, deco mesh um and i think she ships it in from america so she has the cheap stuff you know uh and she has the more expensive stuff this is the more expensive stuff this is um this is what they call snow i think it's called snow drift <clears throat> snow drift or snowball jute so there's jute in this mesh it's not just mesh you know uh mesh is like a plasticky uh, I hate that word, plasticky. <laughs> it's like a plastic material um, made into mesh. This is, you have got that. Oh, you can't even see. You have got it, but you've got jute running through it. Actual, real jute. And then you've got this beautiful, it's either snowball. I think it might be snow drift. I know it's snow something. So I picked up two rolls of this. Because this... And bear with me, this 
is going to be the base, probably to a good couple of three wreaths. So it's going to start off as an autumn wreath, guys. So I've picked up two, two rolls and um, I'm, I'm going to create my, my wreath, my base. Um, and like I say, initially it's, it's, it's intention is for autumn. So along with those, uh, I picked up some beautiful uh, orange gingham, or orange gingham ribbon. Uh, it's all wired and this is from America. This is from uh, USA to UK Reeves. Uh, Nikki over there, she's uh, really good. She's She's got an abundance of American uh, ribbons. <coughs> um, and so I've picked this up because that's going to be my my ribbons on my deco mesh wreath. Then I picked up from Three Sisters Creation. Now Deco Mesh Decorations is on Facebook and she is also she also has her own website. USA to UK Reads is on Etsy and she is also on Facebook. And these ladies are Three Sisters Creations and I got them to make me a lovely um, sign for my wreath. Welcome to our home. This, our home, could have been personalised into anything. Could have been uh, welcome to the Petals or welcome to whatever you, the Smiths, the Joneses. I just wanted our home on it. So beautiful, simplistic, nothing too fussy, nothing too fun, just something natural. So I've got the white pumpkin, I've got the orange pumpkins and I've got some sunflowers on that. And that seems to be a little bit of grapevine, doesn't it? With some ivy on there. So what I'm going to do now, that goes really well with that, with that. And then <clears throat> this. And then guys, on my last haul, the range, uh, was it B&M and the range? Yes, it was. And um, that's on my last video, the last video, the video before this. I picked up these, didn't I? These, these pumpkins. And those are ideal for that sign, aren't they? So I'm not saying that I'm definitely going to put these in because I'll tell you for why. I don't want to glue anything into this this uh, wreath because this wreath, it's cost me, you know, uh, th these these are, are the pricier of the of the deco mesh. I think these could have been over ten pounds a roll. So that base for me is going to be, uh, it's going to be a um, what I'm trying to say here. It's going to be a permanent base but not necessarily permanent decoration, I'll be able to change that out because my idea is, yes, you can untie your ribbons for a start. So I'll be able to change my ribbons out. Say if I get to Christmas and I want to change it to red, you know, I want to put a bit of red in it. I want to put a bit of Christmas in it. Um, it doesn't have to be red, it could be green. Um, or I get to Easter and I'd like to have like a little uh, jute with all the pastel colours and stuff. This is going to be my base and I'm going to be able to change it out. So if I get to these pumpkins, guys, and I can't secure them enough how I've arranged them within that design, then I'll leave them out. <clears throat> Possibly go for a few sunflowers and try and get those in because I'm going to have to try and wire them in as opposed to gluing them in. Because normally I, I do a bit of gluing when I'm doing my mesh wreaths. Um, but I think what I'm thinking for sure is um, just to try and wire it all onto the wreath frame behind <clears throat> the wreath frame behind behind all the mesh and see how I go from there. So they might not feature, I want them to, 
but I also want to have them arranged. I don't want them just plonked there. So if I can get it so that they look arranged within that design, then that's fine. So yeah, that was a that was a quite long winded, wasn't it? I always am, guys. Um, so that is all of the haul. Um, finished. So what I've got coming up next is also this giveaway. And I mean up next now, not up next in another video. Um, I have got this. This is what I'm giving away. <laughs> no. I'm going to give away. Because I thought, well, I'm doing a deco mesh wreath. And uh, I thought, right. So I, I thought, well, I'll go down my petal shed and I'll see what, what's there in my petal shed. So I went down and I picked out two coloured meshes so you've got your red and your, I thought right this will be good for Christmas a Christmas if you, if you if so this is what's up for grabs a roll of green a roll of red deco mesh you've got 10 by 10 uh 10 uh it's either 10 yards or 10 meters by 10 inches two rolls of that which you will get a lovely uh wreath out of you've got your wreath ring so it's like a little kit guys and then i've put a very healthy because it's more than 10 yards this uh ribbon which is so you've got your um green it's a reversible so you can use it you know and then it's as if you've got two ribbons you've got your green and you've got your red um and it it's ideal for that isn't it so you could alternate those um if you go into if you go into if you go into one of my playlists there should be a deco mesh wreath in there and you could you could quite easily uh do the i think i did 10 inch puffs and 20 inch ruffles or you could do just 30 inch ruffles there's many many different styles uh, but I haven't got many different styles on my playlist. And this is why I want to get back to doing a few deco mesh wreaths, guys. Um, because I haven't shown you all the methods. So, um, that's what's up for grabs. I'm afraid I haven't got the pipe cleaners. On this, you will need 18 pipe cleaners. So, you'll have 10 on this bottom rung. And you'll have 8 on the inside. And space them evenly apart. Um, and... You know, like I say, there are, in fact, there might be a couple, a couple of deco mesh reads in my playlist, actually. So you could have a look there. So anyway, so that's what's up for grabs. So if you fancy grabbing yourself something or, you know, if you want to have a go, a little bash, you know, um, you've not forked anything out because it's free. The only thing you're going to have to get is your pipe cleaners because I really couldn't put my hands on mine. Um... I thought I had some, so I'm going to have to get to a craft shop and get some. In the meantime, guys, you know, they are inexpensive, pipe cleaners are. And like I say, you want 10 on the bottom, you want 8 on the top, so you want 18 twist ties, uh, twist ties. You want 18 pipe cleaners, goodness me. Um, and then you would cut your ribbon at 12 inches. If you go in my playlist, you will see that there is... Uh, you know, there is a method of doing it. There could be a couple, I'm convinced of that. So, um, so that's it. Um, I thought I'd leave you to choose what you want to put on it. You could put your baubles in it if you've got any uh, nice baubles. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry about that. If you want to put your baubles on it, uh, if you want to put Christmassy, it's up to you what you put in it. And that's why I've not, so I've just literally, I've, it's a li little kit. You've got your ribbon, your mesh and your ring. And all you need to provide is your pipe cleaners and whatever emba emba embellish, <laughs> embellishments you want to put on it. So that's that, guys. Um, right, so uh, the very last thing now is I'm going to the races this this weekend. I'm out of my comfort zone, I'll be honest, and I have decided after trying umpteen dresses on, um, couldn't run to expense, uh, haven't got it. So it was out of the wardrobe. Now I have tried umpteen and I don't feel 
this is going to sound awful. I don't feel good enough. So, and I don't feel comfortable. I'm not, I, I suffer anxiety. And for me to be amongst many people is causing me considerable anxiety. So, and even though I'm with my family, you know, my mum and my sister, I'm my cousin. Um, I'm still getting het up about it. So I thought, well, if I, if, if I'm out there uncomfortable, I need to be comfortable in what I'm wearing. Uh, now, if it was down to me, I would wear jeans and a nice top, but that's not allowed. <clears throat> you know, I am most comfortable um, wearing what I like. <laughs> so, I, I'm, believe it or not, guys, I, I've decided right at this very last hour to wear my blue polka dot dress because I'm comfortable in it. It's a nice length. You know, there's a beautiful dress that I got, but it's above the knee. I don't think that's appropriate, not for the races, plus, plus then I think of my age. Um, at the shoe, the footwear, um, for me, in my eyes, because it's a shorter length, the foot, uh, the footwear needs to be flat, not not any height on it. Now I have bought a little wedge um, shoe to, uh, to try and uh, you know. But it didn't, it didn't go anyway. And it couldn't be much of a wedge shoe because I've got that bad leg. I've busted it three times. You know, it's three times gone, that muscle in the back of my calf. So I thought, oh, goodness me. So I've got this, I've got this uh, wedge like that. Um, I'm not happy with them. Said to my daughter before, I'll be taking them and taking them off. She started laughing. She said, you can't take them off. <laughs> I said, I can uh, I'll put my polka dot flip-flops, they're not flip-flops, they're a shoe, a shoe, like a sandal uh, thingy, they're not a flip-flop flip-flop. I said I'll take my polka dot flip-flops once I'm in the, in the venue, but I, you know, it's just me, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm out of my comfort zone when I have to get fancy schmancy, and I know a lot of people like getting dressed up. I'm a bit of a tomboy, guys, if the truth be known. I've only recently started wearing dresses, you know, last year. Uh, actually, that's a lie. I've worn the odd one. But um, I, I'm i just one of those people, you know, one of those women that I like to be comfortable. And I do like to, you know, like I wear a pretty top and stuff like that. But like I say, I'll pair it with a pair of jeans or some form of trouser you know, a cigarette pant or something like that. Um, had I had the money, I perhaps would have bought a nice trouser suit, you know, and would have been happy to, to um, you know, a nice tailored one. Um, and had I not got a bust leg, I'd have worn a little stiletto perhaps, you know, but there we go, if some buts. What is that saying? If, if, if some buts were maybes. Um, so uh, here we go again. So my hair, guys, I know that you, you're you probably sick of the sight of the way I have my hair. Well, it, this is how I'm comfortable with it at the moment. You know, scraped back. Um, I'm trying to grow the bob out now. So, you know, uh, it's a straight back job and in a bun. So I thought, well, if it rains, my hair will go fluffy. If it's hot, my hair will go fluffy. And I mean, because it's a bob and it's a bob that's growing out, it's got a bit of weight in the bottom. So you can imagine I'm going to look like Crystal Tips and Alistair. <laughs> you know, if I break out in a sweat because a horse is coming, my horse is coming in, <laughs> things could be a disaster. So this is how I'm wearing it, I'm afraid. I, I, my daughter's like, oh, why don't you wear it, you know, and have some nice little, because I don't want to. <laughs> Plain and simple. I'm happy, you know, so... I ordered this. I was going to make myself one, wasn't I? <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. And I was going to, I was going to make myself one with some flowers and stuff. Uh, but it was the dress thing. It was because I was so indecisive about the dresses, you know. But even with the blue polka dot, this will go. I mean, look at that. I could have made that. I could have even made that myself, but I didn't have the design in my mind. So, you know, it's basically only a a, a cross of of that's not. Um, it's some kind of special mesh that is and I know that Shirley she makes things like this so she'd be able to tell me um, and then this that's made into a flower you know 
bit of di little diamante and some and some uh, feathers. S simple as that on the, on on the back of a disc with a uh, clip. So, <clears throat> and I thought to myself, you know, and that will perhaps do. <laughs> Maybe next year, if I go next year, you know, I might go all out, but it's the unknown and it's the needing to feel comfortable and it's the, uh, it's the need to, to, to I, I don't want to stand out, you know, I probably will stand out because I look a disaster, but never mind. <laughs> I just want to sneak in, put a bet on, win and sneak back out. You know, I just want to be comfortable and not to thingy so what do you think of that guys you know i've already ragged my hair out i'll clip it in what do you think would you have those feathers going up it's cute isn't it i'll show you there and that to me i feel comfy like that you know i mean it's not me i look at that and look at my face and I think no However, you know, once in a while, if you don't step out of your comfort zone, you know, you just never know, do you? And like I say, I'm with my mum and my sister and my cousin, so, I, you know, I need to chill my paws. Yeah, I do. So that's it for this one, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm so sorry for the, you know, it, uh, I've only been posting once a week recently, and I will get back to posting uh, twice a week, but it's not going to be till September now. <clears throat> Um, and then all these things will come to fruition, you know, especially the door wreath and uh, the garland with the white pumpkins. And, um, yeah, so that's it for this. Do you like that, guys? <laughs> um, I'm not being ungrateful, though, guys, because that ticket was paid for. You know, it, it it's a treat for me. Um, I you know, my mum and my sister uh, gifted me that ticket. So I, I'm, not, I'm not being ungrateful at all. So that's it for this one. If I can get any footage at the races, I most definitely will do. Um, but until then, and until I pop back next week, um, you take care and um, thanks for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Take care. Have a lovely weekend. Take care. Bye.